Hello, and welcome to another episode of Movie Spoiler Alerts. Today we're talking about the 2013 film, Superman, Man of Steel. So let's get started. The film opens with the planet of Krypton being on the verge of destruction due to a depletion of natural resources. General Zod, Krypton's military commander, has initiated a coup d'etat against the ruling council. Jor-El and his wife Lara celebrate the birth of their son, Kal-El, who is one of the first Kryptonian babies born in centuries. Aware that the planet is on the verge of being completely destroyed, Kal-El is infused with the genetic codex for the entire Kryptonian race, and Kal-El is put aboard a spaceship to be sent to Earth. General Zod bursts in, kills Jor-El, but is unable to get the codex before Kal-El leaves the planet. General Zod is stopped and is banished into captivity into an area known as the Phantom Zone. However, Zod is able to escape when Krypton eventually explodes. Cal L's ship lands in the town of Smallville, Kansas. He is adopted by Jonathan and Martha Kent, and Cal L is given the name of Clark Kent. Due to Clark being an alien and being so close to the Earth's sun, he develops superhuman abilities as he grows older. As a teenager, Clark finds out that he really is an alien, and Clark's father warns him of using his powers in public. Several years later, Clark's human dad dies in a tornado. Clark has the opportunity to save his dad, but his dad stopped him to prevent him from exposing his powers in public. Clark winds up getting into an investigation of a Kryptonian scout spaceship. He enters the ship and sees the preserved consciousness of his father, Jor-El, which appears to him as a hologram. Jor-El reveals to Clark the origins of his birth and explains the extinction of the Kryptonian race. He also tells Clark that he was sent to Earth to help guide mankind and give them hope. A journalist named Lois Lane sneaks into the ship and triggers the security system. Clark saves Lois and the ship leaves. Lois writes her story for the Daily Planet, but the article is rejected by her editor for being unbelievable. Lois tracks down Clark to try to reveal who he is, but after hearing his story, Lois decides not to reveal his secret. General Zod and his crew are then seen trying to find other planets for the new Kryptonian race. They detect a signal coming from Clark's old ship and arrive on Earth. Zod demand that Kal-El, aka Clark, surrender or he will destroy the entire Earth. Clark surrenders and Clark and Lois are taken captive. Zod reveals that he plans to terraform the Earth, making the surface more like his home world, which will kill the human race. He will then use the Codex to repopulate the Earth with genetically engineered Kryptonians. Clark and Lois escape, and Clark is able to get the military to side with him. Zod deploys his terraforming engine over both Metropolis and the Southern Indian Ocean. Clark destroys the engine, and is given the title of Superman by the military. Superman's spacecraft is crashed into Zod's ship, and Zod is sent back into the Phantom Zone, along with his crew. However, Zod is able to escape and then battle Superman, destroying a large portion of Metropolis. Superman eventually does kill Zod by snapping his neck. As the film concludes, the US government decides to help Superman conceal his identity, where he goes by the name Clark and works for the Daily Planet. So that was the spoilers for Superman Man of Steel. If you have another film you'd like to see me spoil, please let me know in the comments below. Check out movie spoiler alerts on the various forms of social media listed below, and remember to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.